been baking these cookies for the last almost three hours. Um, this is my second batch. This recipe is based on Benjamin TV's recipe and it looks really good. It's just that it's a little bit more chewy um, and it's a soft cookie. It didn't take that long in the um, oven, only about 10-12 minutes at the most. Um, well, at least 10-12 to 12 minutes, but it didn't go um, further than that. Uh, this is my second batch, but it's my fourth batch of cookies. As you, let me show you. Here we go. I put aside some that is for my husband's friend or family. So that would go to him maybe later on in the day or tomorrow. And I'm waiting for this to cool down and I'm going to use the same baking paper um, for the next few batches. I think there will be another two or three batches more. The only thing that I did differently was to use uh, brown sugar instead of all white sugar or caster sugar because I think that it will make a little bit it will make it a little bit more chewy and um, there's not much crunch to it I don't like it to be too crunchy or too hard um, when you use white sugar it would do that but um, I think what Benjamin TV did was he used organic white sugar that's a little bit hard to come by in Malaysia plus it's a little bit more expensive anyway thank you very much Benjamin TV for showing us how to make this wonderful cookies and you know what Benji I used Giral Deli chocolate chips and the semi-sweet one as well as the milk chocolate ones mmm yummy so these are the milk chocolate ones and uh, the one in the container is the semi-sweet chocolate I think I prefer the um, milk chocolate ones I don't know um, I'm going to try it uh, very soon um, see ooh it looks so good this is my attempt to make a cookie sandwich uh, ice cream cookie sandwich um, I did not put in the um, actual cookies. I just broke off a little bit of the cookie and then just put in a little bit of the vanilla ice cream and this is my attempt. Really good. More ice cream. Nice cookie. Nicer. These are cooling down right now. These are going to the oven in a few minutes time. It doesn't look perfect. But eh, it's okay. It's going to be consumed. I'm not going to go um, to a baking competition. <laughs> I was using Gira Deli chocolate chips. And I think this particular recipe needs to have the milk chocolate kind. Because the milk chocolate one tastes so much better than the um, bittersweet chocolate or the semi-sweet chocolate. I like this one more. I didn't use the expensive ingredient except for the Ghirardelli um, choc uh, chocolate chips but I think that the chocolate chips to stand out the most so that's the reason why I'm using a better quality chocolate chip but um, use whatever ingredients that you have at hand or that is available at your nearest supermarket you don't need to go all out just to make chocolate chip cookies no just use whatever ingredients that you have and when you have a little bit more money you can always splurge a little bit it's worth it to splurge on food and on in ingredients because it would make a whole world of a difference but if you don't have the sources to get such things then just use whatever you have so I'm going to enjoy this one which is the um, this one is the milk chocolate chip this one is the bittersweet chocolate chip with some ice cream I didn't put that much because I'm trying to cut down and uh, I'll talk to you all later